Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When people know how to do that, they make a pretty good living, regardless of what their business is or isn't. What I mean is that most people know what is required to live. Most people need a good $30,000 a year in order to live comfortably in a reasonably safe environment to live. It allows them to cover their car payment, their apartment or their townhome, and openly the food and slight entertainment that they might still find around despite it being a time of COVID. People also should be tithing 10% of their income to some church or some foundation, some philanthropic organization. But when I'm talking about these things, I'm talking about living and life balance. The number one area of life balance is faith. I often make these things, but this past week, some marvelous bastard of Satan, some white bread piece of trash who works in a staple shop, interfered with my lawful right to be on my Twitter. On Twitter, I make my living by marketing myself. American marketing people know that Twitter is essential for their life. Politicians also need Twitter to communicate the day-to-day -day aspects of what they do to serve people. When people interfere with the life, they stunt their own growth. They literally obliterate the blessings that God has for you, you know? And if you don't know that, then you're the dumbest fuck on the planet. That if you can't understand that when you harm someone, when you play with someone, when you cut their marvelous beard, that was grown for God, you just fucked yourself in every way. Jesus Christ is raging today. If you didn't pay attention, we are in a time of epidemic and pandemic. And this has happened all throughout history. That when people get out of line with Jesus, when people get out of line and pretend to be God in people's lives, that God starts killing people with a plague. The plague was predicted by me and others like me some time ago and then boom it hit us all if they don't listen to god's oracles if people refuse to believe that prophets still exist if people bemuse themselves with the lies they tell themselves about who needs to persist they will lose themselves in covid a covid-laden house may not even know they have covid a covid-laden employee may never tell other people. There is, of course, marvelous other types of flus and other types of illnesses that can be passed around as communicable diseases. During a time of COVID, we do not close the distance on the six-foot area of distance unless we really know someone and we really can prove to them in legal liability that we do not have COVID or any other illness. In life, there are many types of situations. It is absolute true. But if you're playing a game on someone like me or someone like you, you're literally to end up in hell. People don't like to hear that. They really want to believe that Jesus Christ died for their sins and they can get away with anything. And that is not true. That is not biblically sound. That is not even sound under any type of philosophy of the world. And most people know that. Most people only rise to the level in which they thrive. Most people, like me, chose a different lifestyle as an entrepreneur because I did not want to live in the 40, 60, and sometimes 70 hours a week that I was working as an interpreter in manufacturing. Someone ruined my interpreter pages that my late wife, myself, and one of our marvelous friends worked to translate a long time. My job was to speak across different departments of a manufacturing environment. Now I am way rusty for that, but I had to write to take the things that I was gifted by people in my company to help me to be better in my job and utilize it to help train other people so that they can replace me as I age and can't remember everything today. In life, we have moments of time to prove who we are as an employee. If we are working well with people, if we are being non-discriminatory with customers, if we are honoring our boss's wishes and paying attention to ancillary, well, 
income opportunities in a way in terms of the fact that anyone anywhere as working as an employee serving in customer service can be plucked out of their jobs by someone seeing them as marvelous. That has happened to me a few times. It's something I encourage employees and employers and HR directors to do regularly as they're traveling through the community to notice people doing things right, to compliment them on it, and to do anything they can to help them to move forward. Because every human being has to make a living, and every human being has to find a way to pay for retirement. And most people today do not have enough in any way to cover their retirement. They can act like a player and drive really expensive automobiles because they have large family and large people that take up a lot of room. But what happens is eventually we downsize, we step away from the player life, we go buy a used vehicle, and we literally live our life. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. My fully paid for business vehicle was absolutely obliterated and utilized and destroyed by people who lied about their rights, stole my keys, infiltrated my car, removed its parts, and then eventually was stolen by police. 